Okay, so this is going to be the haul from the new art store that opened up that I said in the in the Shop With Me footage. They had been working on opening that store for like nine months or so. They actually put it off because they opened it. They were trying to get another store opened a while back, but it was really fun. I went in there. It was full of a, a lot of great stuff. They had been saving stuff for like nine months to put out. Um, and they did have a three day, like 10 to six for three days in a row, like a pre-opening, um, but yet there was no discount. So things were, some things were priced a little bit high, but, but um, some things weren't, but it was well, well worth it to me. So I got a good amount of stuff. I think I set up, spent about $67, which is a lot for one ARC store for me. Um, so I'll show you what I got. Um, most of it's for, well, it's a combination, some to sell, some to keep. One of the first things I got was this really cute little, almost 80s looking, hand-painted Santa by D. Crop. This was $1.99. Um, and some of it I would, like I said, I have paid a little more than I normally would for. But I just thought that was really cute. And I'll, that'll be really cute to hang up uh, with, my, with my snowman Christmas tree room at Christmas. Um, second thing I got was this really cute little wooden carved moose. I'm pretty sure he is a um, uh, toothpick holder. I see a lot of these guys up in like the ski towns for crazy prices. He was $1.99. Really cute. A little dusty, but he'll clean up. I got this really pretty piece of pottery. Um, this butterfly pottery. It's either maybe for your garden or wherever you want to do. You could probably put a plate hanger on it and hang it, but I love the color. And it was $2.99. It was done by somebody named Nan something with a G. I can't really read that, but I thought that was gorgeous. Got that for me. Um, I found a couple Save the Ceramics. I got two of these little ceramic boots with the really pretty red vintage glaze. They were $1.49 a piece. They're pretty dirty, but they'll clean up nice. And they are candle holders, and they have the actual like candle holder down in there which is kind of rare. Usually it's just the boot. So I got that one and then I got this one. Same thing. Um, I thought they were like a pair, but when you put them together, they don't really, they almost both look like a left foot, but they're cute and that'll be really cute for Christmas. Those I might sell, I might keep. I haven't quite decided. Um, I got this little guy. This was really cute. It uh, was $1.99. And there wasn't a sticker on the bottom, but it says here, Max Factor, P-R-I-M-I-T-I-F, Sophisticat, Perfume, one-eighth of, of an ounce, blended in USA. On the other side, I think it said Max Factor, Hollywood, California, London, Paris. But it's this really cute, I, th I think it's, I haven't tried to open it, but maybe I could. Really cute little kitty with pink rhinestone eyes. A pretty little necklace and like that all that little pink I guess it's just like a feather tail um, but actually let me see I didn't try to open it before but I think it does open maybe well maybe not if I get it open I'll show you but I just thought that was adorable I'll, I might I haven't looked that up yet I might sell that not sure um, I found another little Avon Christmas tree bottle perfume bottle um, doesn't say what, Zanny Cologne, Z-A-N-Y. Um, I love these for my bathroom for Christmas. I have a little collection. Um, and I've never seen this one. I have one similar, but it's a little bigger and shape different. But that's really cute with the little red top. That was 69 cents. I got this. I found another of the really cute vintage ceramic turkey soup terrines or whatever you want to do this I call it this was this says Irma and Rena on the bottom but um this was $3.99 this is the bottom that's the glaze it's a little different glaze it has some orange and some uh red and some brown in it but this is the top look at how cute this little lady is really cute I didn't see any chips or cracks anywhere. Well, I lied. There's one right here, but that's under the rim when you close it, and I can easily touch that up. But I just love that. I'm not going to use it as a soup ring, but I love it. And recently, I showed one that I found that had in the back the little spoon that stuck out, and it looked like a tail. This one did not have the place for the spoon, but um, 
I just absolutely love that. And it's kind of funny how you find one and then all of a sudden you'll find more. But how cute is that? Love it. Love it. Very cute. I found this cute little ornament for $1.99, I believe. Normally I wouldn't have paid $1.99 for this, but look at this ornament. It's like a little handmade and look at the cute little, like... The little sequins are just different than any I've ever seen. They're almost, they've got little like dots around them. And it's like, well, if you look down in there, it's like it's double layered, sort of. But um, how cute is that? I just thought it was very unique, very cute. And someone probably made that years ago. I don't know, maybe not, but I thought it was adorable. Got that for $2. I did need another uh, hummingbird feeder. So I grabbed this one for $3.99. This is copper and glass, and it was in really good shape, no cracks. I did look at it really good, to, and I'm hoping it's not gonna leak, but I've had a couple leak lately that I've had to get rid of, and I am finally starting to see some hummingbirds. So um, these in the store were, were probably about $19 to $24 if I was to buy it like at Walmart, but for, what did I say, four bucks. Love that one, so I will get that cleaned out and hung up for my birds. I got this really cute picture and I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it for me. Um, it's one of those silhouette pictures. It was $2.99 and it says on the back, it's just pretty. It's like a carriage with some horses. Um, coach, I guess. Ye coach stop. A silhouette of distinction from an original hand cutting combined with a matte border and uniquely transferred in gold, black, and ivory enamels to glass preserving the full sharpness of detail. Um, but if you look real close, you can see the black, but then you can also see the ivory kind of behind it. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I didn't even really notice that till I read it, but you can see like the different layers. But that, um, I might try to list that. I'm not sure, but I think that will be real pretty in my den. Um, and then I got this really cute, I'm going to try to move the camera a little here. I got this really, really adorable cookie jar. I don't really buy cookies, but look at this really cute cookie jar. Let's see if I can zoom in on it a little better. I know, maybe not, and I have a battery flashing, of course. So we'll see if I can pick it up. Um, but it was really cute. It's like a little log cabin. That's the lid. No chips or cracks. It was not um, marked at all, but it says Moose Lodge. Although it has bears on it, it says Moose Lodge, but look how pretty, pretty clean. It's pretty heavy too. Really cute bear with a little red bird and he looks in really good shape. Um, that was $6.99. I just love that and I'm probably gonna keep that. Um, probably not going to sell it. This really cool Christmas tree that I found is the is one of those wooden ones that you that can fold flat. Let's see. Let's see if I can pick it up. But you see the bottom. It's just made out of all these little slats, so you can fold it flat or when you're storing it. It was $4.99. Um, really cute. Very unique. I thought I hadn't seen one like that. I grabbed that pretty quickly. And then this really pretty picture here was very nicely framed uh, in Boulder from the Frame Factory. And it talks about the Rocky Mountain Wildflowers. I thought that was really cool. And it is matted and framed. Looks rather 80, 80s, but it's um, it's got all the wildflowers of Colorado. This I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep. I um, thought that was really cute and pretty sure I'm going to keep that for myself. Uh, one of my favorite things I got to sell are these little, another Save the Ceramic, a really pretty, um, I'm going to take this camera off here, really pretty ceramic turkeys. You see them sitting here. They look like little, uh, little uh, pilgrims like a little male pilgrim look how cute and they've got the little feet i've done some things like this like little um things like this with the little shoes and i actually have the little shoe mold not the not the moccasins here but the little indian 
and the little lady pilgrim. How cute are they? That was a set of three. They were $1.99 a piece. I am most, most likely going to sell those. Look at the eye detail on this. How cute. This camera is it's kind of bright in here, but I, those were so cute. Those were the first, first things I grabbed when I went in the store. And then I also found this piece here. I was almost finished, and my camera had already shut off for um, filming, so I didn't get to film a lot. But um, after I... Let's see, let me do something with this light. Because you're not even seeing that, it's like white. This guy right here, anyway, I'll tell you as I'll talk as I'm showing you, moving it. I was walking around the corner, I thought I had been through most of the store filming, and then I realized, wow, there's a whole Christmas section. So I walked up and I'm going down the Christmas aisle, and this is one of those um, ceramic Santas, the winking Santa. I've shown a few of these in my Christmas videos. I have about three or four of them. Um, this guy was on the shelf and I looked at it and I thought, oh, it's a piece of bisque. And I tapped it with my finger and it felt just like bisque, which means it's clay that's already been fired. So I snatched it up. I saw on the bottom, it said 99 cents. And then I didn't even realize until after I got this guy home that he is greenware, which means he still needs to be put in the kiln and fired. He's greenware and he has um, some glaze, underglaze on him. So um, I'm going to stick him in the kiln, fire him, see what it looks like. This is probably like a white. This looks like it's, I don't know what, because underglaze is a different color when you put it on than when you fire it. It can be a different color. So I don't know what he's going to come out looking like, but I'm certainly going to redo him. Um, and the way I realized he was, he was greenware is I brought him home, brought, brought him, I had her put him in a separate bag him in a separate bag and the little moose lodge in a separate bag. I got him home and realized, wow, I broke his little foot boot down here, but that's clay. I have clay. I'm going to, I can patch that before I fire him, which I will do. But even if I couldn't, I wouldn't worry about it because that's going to be in the back or I could cover that up with something later, but it was just crazy. I couldn't believe he was greenware. And this lady walked up right behind me as I was putting him reaching up and grabbing him and putting him in my cart. And she goes, oh wow, how much is he? I said, he is 99 cents. And I'm still thinking he's bisque. She might have might have realized he was greenware. I don't know, because she said, wow, so do you, and I said, and I do ceramics. And she said, oh, so do you have a kiln? And I said, yes, I do. Do you have a shop? No, I just do it at home. Me too. So you could tell she was like very mad that she was just a few seconds late. Um, but she was very sweet. Um, and that is so crazy how bright that light is. Anyway, cool story. I'll show him in a ceramic, save the ceramic Sunday video when I get him done. And then the last thing I got was this really cute little quilt. It was $6.99. And I'm still not, you're not seeing this, I don't think. Let me see if I can turn off this light. I'm in my garage. Oh, there we go. Well, no. I'm in my garage under a really bright light. Okay, that's better. Really cute, $6.99 quilt um, of Lucy, Linus, Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Snoopy. That's the top of it. This is the bottom half. Um, Woodstock, just really cute. And I found on it, um, wow, that's hard to see and my phone's ringing. It has a little pocket here. I'm not sure what this little pocket's for, but I might like... I might stitch that pocket closed. I think I'm gonna maybe list this guy. And I thought I found some information on him. He's already got his little hanging tabs there. Anyway, there was somewhere on this quilt there was information of he was he was from the 60s, I think. He, she, why am I calling it like it's a human? And now I don't see that. Well, all right, and I knew I saw it somewhere. It's just hidden in here. So it says copyright 1950, 1952, 1960, 1965, 1966, United Feature Syndicate. So I guess it's from 1966, but it was really cute in great shape. Somebody might like it for a wall hanging. It's really a wall hanging quilt. It's got the little things in it, but it's um, Charlie Brown, Linus, whatever her name is. I forget her name. Flying a kite, Lucy. And um, 
Now that I say that, you know what? I don't see Snoopy anywhere. What's up with that? Woodstock, but Snoopy's doghouse, but no Snoopy. Or am I missing him? Right, so where's Snoopy? Huh. Good question. And I also bought one other thing for the yard, which I'll just show it in another video because it's outside. All right, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.